Um, hi, welcome back to Dimension Bros. Um, this is gonna be a video with my face and a nice camera, that nice camera being my phone camera. A bit of background. Basically, in the hype leading up to Frozen 2, I started an Instagram account called Fanboy Frozen. And it got some following leading up to the movie. I mostly made it kind of as a joke, kind of serious, because I was really excited for Frozen 2. And then I saw Frozen 2, and then immediately I got onto the Elsa Marin ship train, which is basically shipping Elsa with the character Honey Marin, because you know they share an intimate romantic fireside scene, and then also Elsa literally gives up her queenhood to Anna because Honey Marin was like, come live in the forest, and Elsa was like, okay. So that's why I shipped them. And so I started posting Elsa Marin content onto my Instagram because I shipped them and I thought they were cute. And this brought in a lot of very fun comments. And most of these very fun comments are just desperately trying to tear down the ship. Elsa's not gay. You're reading too much into it. Meh. I thought it would be fun to read some of my favorites today. And just so you know, I don't actually post that much anymore on my fanboy frozen account so you can follow it but you're not gonna get a whole lot of content because i'm frozen 2 was not super great and the only redeeming thing i find about it is the music and elsa marin which i don't have that much to say on anymore so let's just read some fun comments all right i'm not gonna be blocking out any usernames or anything a because i don't think that many people are gonna see this video and B, because you could literally just go to my Instagram and find the comments anyway, so. This one, I wanted to start out with one that I kind of actually agree with and like does have some validity behind it. So, fantasy ship wise, I think Jelsa and Elsa Marin are both precious. I agree with one of those. I have a lot of feelings on Jelsa. But canonically, I wish anyone was fighting for Elsa to be ace. This part I agree with. I do think if Elsa was asexual, that'd be great. There's not a lot of asexual characters that I can think of besides Spongebob and the dude from Bojack Horseman. I do think if Elsa was ace that would be really cool and I would have like no problem with it. Um, Although, fun fact, ace people can still be in relationships so this doesn't like go against Elsa Marin but it is cool. I love the Anna has the romantic story arc and Elsa's journey shows you don't need a romantic partner to find yourself. Anna's arc has nothing to do with Kristoff. Anna and Elsa's arcs are both about sisterly love. Anna's arc is solely about being there for Elsa, and Kristoff's just an afterthought. Like, Anna's arc has, like, almost nothing to do with her romantic love. It's about her sisterly love. Kristoff just happens to be there. Also, Elsa's arc shows you don't need a romantic partner to find yourself. Anna didn't need a romantic partner to find herself. Anna had pretty much found herself by the time we start Frozen 1. And she never had anybody. So, pretty much every person should be able to find themselves without a romantic partner. And if you can't, that's on you. Her journey is one of self-love, and I feel like fighting for her to canonically have a romantic partner undermines the importance of that journey. But it doesn't. It doesn't. Here's the thing. <laughs> There's so many comments like this where it's like Elsa's about self-love, not being in a romantic relationship. And I'm just like, why can't those two things coincide? Those, sh those should never contradict each other. They should be in two separate worlds. Like this, this kind of, these kind of comments imply that everybody who's in a romantic relationship hates themselves. Like, yes, Elsa loves herself. Does that mean she can't love somebody else? All right, this next comment. They just talking, your imagination is too high. <sighs> the, yes, they were just talking, but if you like just read into it even slightly, you can see that they're into each other. Like you can just see it. But I mostly picked out this comment because it has pretty, pretty good gra- it has almost perfect grammar. Like you would expect like ignorant comments to use the wrong your, to use the wrong to, but this person actually used the correct version so I'm mostly just reading this one to point out like some homophobes have good grammar and we should appreciate them all right so this one was posted under this meme that I reposted from Twitter um I found it really funny so I put it on my Instagram and this comment says but making her lesbian ruins the point of her character she was made to be independent keep it buffering does this imply 
imply that lesbians aren't independent? I mean, here's the thing. Personally, all of my lesbian friends aren't doing the best emotionally, so maybe there is some truth behind this. But again, you can be independent and be in a relationship. In fact, you should. If you can't like have a life outside of your relationship, you really need to work on yourself. Like, I don't, these people are getting being independent confused with like being single. Being independent doesn't mean you're single. Being independent just means you don't need another person to like emotionally care for you. This doesn't mean you don't want a partner. That just means you don't need one in your life in order to be okay. Ugh. Elsa isn't a lesbian. I mean, you heard it here. Communism sucks said so. Elsa is straight. Confirmed, you know. It's not like every single member of the cast and crew has openly said that they wanted to make Elsa gay. No, no, communism sucks. She knows what's up. Okay, but when in the movie did they ever flirt? When in the movie did they lock eyes lovingly? They only interacted for under one minute and barely know each other. It doesn't make any sense to call them a couple or pair them. You guys can ship whatever you want to ship, but don't go too overboard. Okay, I'm gonna blow some people's minds here, but queer couples move faster than straight ones do. Like, they just do. Like, some lesbians have, like, moved in and gotten engaged within months of knowing each other. It's just, like, a queer dynamic works different than a straight one. You don't have to know the person for very long in order to just be with them. Also, they did flirt. You're telling me Elsa leaving behind her entire kingdom because some girl said to move to the woods isn't flirting? What is, what is that then? Kidnapping? No. Guys, if my comment offends anyone, that's not my intention. All right, well now whatever she's about to say isn't gonna offend anyone. Elsa is not a lesbian. She doesn't need a loving couple. It's not the movie she ends up with her. It's not the movie she ends up with her, but it shows a big release for her in the end. She ends up free and happy. A romantic cu- this doesn't make sense. A romantic couple with Moana and Merida because they don't need them. Once again, it was my way of seeing the movie not offending anyone. The arguments I see the most are, Elsa's independent, Elsa's about self-love, she doesn't need a relationship. And all three of those are true. Have you ever taken into account the fact that Elsa is a 24-year-old grown woman and therefore she might want a relationship? <sighs> because believe it or not, you don't have to be an emotionally dependent, self-loathing person in order to be in a relationship. You just have to want to. Groundbreaking, I know, but it just might be true. It's like, these people don't seem to realize you don't get into a relationship because you need someone. You need someone. You get into a relationship because you find someone else attractive and that person reciprocates that feeling. I can understand this and I've been single for like two and a half years. This is a grown ass woman, I'm assuming by the profile picture. What the heck with you says, Elsa isn't gay. And then on a completely separate post, four weeks later, commented, hashtag Elsa isn't gay, hashtag Elsa isn't lesbian, hashtag don't give Elsa a girlfriend, hashtag keep Elsa single. So someone's a bit obsessed with me. Ooh. Here's the thing. When I don't ship to Elsa at all, I think it's weird and predatory considering Elsa's 24 and Jack has the body and mindset of a 16 year old. Anyway, I don't like Jelsa. So whenever I see a Jelsa post, I don't comment on it because Instagram doesn't know what you're commenting. So when they see you comment on a post, they're just acknowledging that that post is keeping you engaged. Therefore, they're going to keep recommending you posts like that. So now I rarely ever see Jelsa in my feed because I don't interact with Jelsa posts. If you really are this hurt and upset, by an Elsa Marin post that you posted four hashtags. Don't comment and you won't see it anymore. Also, when you comment, that gives my post more boost in the algorithm and then more people will see it. If you clearly don't like it, don't comment on it and then it won't get recommended to people. We're gonna finish off today's video with one of the most perfect comments I've ever received. WTF is wrong with this world.
they literally just looking at each other and this represents that they are lesbian Elsa doesn't have a man doesn't mean she's lesbian LMAO stop so stop saying that Elsa are lesbian hashtag Elsa's not gay hashtag don't give Elsa a girlfriend hashtag independence doesn't mean lesbian Elsa are lesbian <laughs> I am so sorry that this person was so deeply hurt and offended by a picture of two animated characters together. Um, I hope this person is healing and I hope they're okay. And I hope that they learn some basic grammar. So those are all the comments I'm gonna read in this video. If you would like to find more comments like these, just go to my Instagram and get, look in the comments and you will find some. Hashtag Elsa isn't gay. Hashtag Elsa isn't a lesbian. Hashtag independence does not mean lesbian. LMAO!